Okay, because there's uh, sort of this, this thing in the MGTOW community about fresh and fit and such, and it's just, I'm, I'm, while I can follow some people for a minute, it's a lot of times I'll follow people, watch a number of episodes for, you know, two, three weeks, you know, I'll tune in now and then, and but then I, I stop following it, and then I miss stuff, and so it, so there's just things I just don't know. But I now I only pop in now and then because it's just I'm not a young man on the on the prowl or anything. So they had actually this great psycho great thing is so you could search for psychologist, fresh and fit psychologist. And he had this great thing he said. And it really was summed up, I realized, and and I thought it was so funny because so many of you young men have posted these memes about why you mad, W Y M. And uh I just thought that was really funny because I'm like, oh, there we go. Why you mad is, is a moral thing. It's so just like my bad. So not, oh, sorry about that. My bad. That that's not really a set of words that shows that you, you are like admitting some kind of fault, you know? Um, so uh, it, it, this is one of these that I, I was thinking about. I'm like, no, no, this is this is somehow linked, but also that that now it's really becoming kind of clear that so the effeminate mind, uh, of, you see the progressives and the liberals where their ethics are why you mad. The idea being this, that men will be angry. A boundary line of behavior was crossed, an ethical boundary line um, that shouldn't have been crossed. Um, and so because of that, they that like that's that's the issue. They're like, why did you do that? Because I didn't want you to do that, and for a very good reason. And you 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 know the relationship between you two is an agreement to not not transgress such boundaries. And so the uh, response is, why are you mad? <laughs> she responds, why are you mad? What do you mean? And the idea being, what do you mean? Why am I mad? I didn't want you to do that. And with the idea of I wouldn't do that to you, with and, and you see that's the thing is when any man has been in this kind of relationship, they realize you go, well, I wouldn't do that to you. You know, you have you know boundary lines that I wouldn't want to transgress. So that's when usually if there's an argument, it's you always do this or that just some other you know thing she doesn't like another thing that actually she doesn't like about you that she just never has talked about because <laughs> she doesn't really like you <laughs> so uh, why you mad is a type of moral sort of ground now that we're at with the left of center all over the modern world that why do you have a standard at all if people are going to fail to meet this standard? And then when uh, they don't get what, when they're not up to standard, you, you, won't, you won't bend the rules and say, well, hey, they tried. Um, they, they, there's so many examples of this. And so... I just, this was just something I was like, this was kind of a gem of theirs. Holy crap. Damn, cowboy. I mean, he really looks like a cowboy with like some super expensive car. This is super funny. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to get going later. I'm going to think more about this, see what you have to say.